right, here we are at Perma Pastures Farm. And as you can see, I'm somebody's got to live to tell the story. So that's why I'm on this end of the camera. Of course, there's Michelle. Everybody say hi. Oh, gee, yeah, real, real lovely bunch. As you can see, we're not alone, and she wishes to remain anonymous. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> but she's here to help. She's never messed with these bees before. Are you a, are you a little bit excited about I'm this? Very excited about this. All right. Well, Michelle kind of weed eated everything down, and they're going to go over there. Some folks might say it's a little early, but we're going to go down there, check the supers, and uh, what else are we going to do, honey? We're going to add a super to one of the swarms we've caught. And that's it. Check for honey. Yeah, I, Billy, I'm sorry. You kind of put me on the spot. So many words there, y'all. <laughs> William, anything you'd like to add? Oh, gee. Nope. <laughs> All right. With that said, y'all, I'm just going to stand back and uh, kind of hold this camera and let them get after it. Okay. You remember which one? Um, the honey. Yeah. I think it was towards the front, wasn't it? Yeah, but that's about it. Hey, do that nasty one from Texas last. You gonna start in the front? Yeah, let's start. Little side note here, y'all. See where the chicken tractor on steroids is operating? Well, that's by design. In the other times, we've run it up and down here and we make sure all the material is close in proximity to our trees so we can dress them right here so we're going back here we're going to go check them out Let's see if they got some honey here okay y'all i'm filming this from the truck because number one we only have three bee suits and number two the second they opened these suckers up, they were coming after me. Well, it seems like our young little helper there, she's kind of found her way right into it and deeply into the mix, so that's awesome. Looks like we got another little beekeeper in the, in the mix. So anyway, um, they're gonna pull these frames out of there and hopefully get a ton of honey. We'll try to get a close up, but I ain't getting out of this truck. They seem determined to kill me. Looks like a pretty good harvest. And Michelle's back there putting in some empty frames. All right, y'all, so here it is at the end of the day. Actually, at the end of a couple of days later, right? Mm -hmm. And what do we got? One to the two to the three and to the four <laughs> gallons of honey. Liquid gold. That's right. Mm -hmm. And this little homestead honey over here. <laughs> Um, she helped us out. And by the way, folks, you can get those shirts. Check us out. Yeah. Isn't that a cool shirt? Anyway, this was her first time out doing it. So what was the experience like? Incredible. I'm lucky to have not been stung, actually. So I got out. I was the only one. <laughs> uh -uh. I, I managed to not get stung okay, also. I was close. Mm -hmm. That's right. But her first time out and she was all smiles, folks. It was really, really fun and a real pleasure. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you for having me. And I guess you get to go home as your as your parting gift. Yes. You gotta, yeah. Get to pick which one I want. That's right. <laughs> That's all right. So here we go. So y'all, thanks so much for watching. It's always cool when a new person is out here to help and, and uh, you know, help us do this stuff and learn the craft herself. And certainly I'm not the one to teach it, but Michelle and William are much more adept at this sort of thing than I am. But on behalf of my newfound friend over here, this is Billy, the Permaculture Pimp Daddy, where pimp stands for permaculture is my passion. We'll see y'all next time.